The topic of this video is mathematical models building functions. All right, so we're now going to move on to our second type of problem. Uh, this problem is such that we are going to be given an equation, and then we are to pick an arbitrary point on that equation, and that point will be part of a geometric shape, such as a rectangle or a triangle. And from that point, for example, this one right here, we make the geometric shape and then measure some of its properties, like, for example, the area. All right, so I'm going to teach this to you in exactly the same way I taught you the previous skill. And that would be I'm going to separate the skill part from the concept part. So for right now, all I'm going to do is teach you the skill. When you see a problem of this type, here is the skill you need to be able to perform. First, let's look at the problem. A rectangle has one corner on the graph of y equals 9 minus x squared, shown here in blue. Another at the origin, so there's the point on the curve, there's the origin. A third on the positive y-axis, and a fourth on the positive x-axis. So here's the rectangle that we're dealing with. The point on the function is the upper right corner. The origin is the lower left corner. Here's the point on the positive y-axis, and here's the point on the positive x-axis. Express the area of this rectangle as a function of x. Okay, here's the scale. For this problem type, what you have to do is start with the equation a equals x times y for a rectangle, or a equals one-half times xy for a triangle. Then replace y with what it equals in the problem, and then write a of x instead of a. All right, so here we go. We are now going to express the area of the rectangle as a function of x. This is a rectangle, so we start with a equals x times y. Next, replace y with what it equals. y equals 9 minus x squared. You may distribute if you would like or not. It doesn't matter. And then finally, replace a with a of x. So we get a of x equals 9x minus x cubed. Or if you don't like the fact that these terms are in ascending order, you can write uh, negative x cubed plus 9x. Either one of these is acceptable. Okay, this is how you express the area of the rectangle, a, as a function of x. In our next video, we're going to go over the concept for why this works.